is Cassandra. And this is KC. We are here right now at the Trachikan Stadium for the match between Warriors FC and Geelong International FC. That's right, these two teams are actually located in similar regions off the table, so it's going to be a very, very intense match. Yep, so once again, who will emerge as the winner? you got to stay tuned to find out. A cool starry Tuesday night was accompanied by a great Eastern Yo's S League matchup between Warriors FC and Geelong International FC at the Trochukanga Stadium on the 7th of August 2013. The Warriors were sitting on the 10th spot of the table and just two points below their opponents, Geelong International FC, who were also looking to extend their lead over the Warriors to five points. A win for the Warriors would see them rise above the Eagles and be on level points with Brunei DPMM. The game started promptly at 8 p.m. with both teams eager to get the opener as soon as possible. It was the Warriors who started the game stronger as they looked to change side, constantly attacking the Eagles' back line. A higher forward line from the Warriors prompted the Eagles to push all their men behind the ball and defend with numbers. The Eagles finding it difficult to construct a flow of attacking movements as the higher line press from the Warriors only allowed them to lob passes into the opponent's territory, which resulted in giving away possession easily. This strategy is what might have awarded the majority of possession to the Warriors. Despite the constant attacking threat that the Warriors were posing, Geelang International FC were able to repel the offensive movements by the home side to keep the score at nil-nil. Norihiro Kawakami was particularly impressive in helping his side organise the defence and showed perfect examples of defending by putting in good challenges. The first half that was dominated by both good attacking by the Warriors and good defending by the Eagles ended with the score remaining at nil-nil. The second half began shortly after as both teams still went in search for the opening goal. Warriors FC were keen on pursuing their similar playing style as they knew that constant pressure from the attacks was bound to crack the Eagles' armour. The Eagles, on the other hand, had learned from their performance in the first half and were starting to look a little more dangerous as their long passes became more accurate, releasing forwards such as Joseph Kaplan and Yasir Hanapi who were looking like a real threat. Start defending from the Warriors and good keeping from Hassan Sunny saw them block out any pacey attacking moves that the Geelong side had to offer. The Warriors were also capable of releasing quick counter-attacks as Mislav Karoglan constantly called for good passes and took on the Geelong defenders well. For large portions of the game, it very well looked like both teams were effectively cancelling each other out as they put in solid offensive and defensive shifts. Frustration did begin to creep into both sides as silly challenges were thrown in, leading to dangerous free kicks which could have led to goals. But in the end, both teams were unable to break the deadlock at the Trochukang Stadium as both teams shared a point with a score of nil-nil. It was a very tough game for us because uh, both teams are just one above the other. So both wanted to win uh, to go above the other. But uh, we were quite defended. Both teams de defended very well. Not many chances. Uh, one or two chances. Uh, uh, we had a, maybe one one clear chance that's all. Uh, in the first half, uh, Stefan won one to one and uh, he did not score. Uh, second half was a bit scrappy and a uh, very tight game. Uh, but Credit to my boys, uh, of course, they play with a uh, the good team. Warrior maybe uh, below us, but look at the team. They have quality team than us. So I thought it was a good display from our players. I feel pleased that we've uh, we've looked very solid defensively. But um, yeah, again, quite frustrating that we 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 haven't had that end product in the final third, and it's not through through lack of effort. You saw tonight that the players tried extremely hard. They uh, they threw pretty much everything at Geelang, everything they had, and um, the front three worked very very hard. And when we change it around, the replacements work extremely hard. But we just couldn't get that that final end product, and that was uh, that was frustrating. Wow. Okay, that was actually a very intense match. Both teams actually, I think cancelled each other out and that's why it ended 0-0. So what do you think, Cass? Well, I think it was a pity because I was rooting for both teams. So do be sure to catch Mount Gale and Warriors matches in upcoming weeks. Tune in. See you.